Hi everyone, Joey here and Joy Joy popping in to say how are you going? But before we do anything, there's something I want to say to Susie. Susie, I watched the video that you made with mum and I have to say I'm very, very, very sorry that I made you cry and that I got you to buy those lollies that you really didn't like. And because of me, you made a bad choice. And I felt really, really sad. So Susie, I've made you a card. And it says, sorry Susie, love Joey. And I put some elephants on it too, Susie, because I know you love elephants. And I also, out of my pocket money, bought you a kinder surprise. And I know I can't come and give it to you, but Joy Joy said that she'd put it in your letterbox. And if you go out with mum, you'll be able to get the kinder surprise. So I hope that makes you feel better, Susie. And mum, I want to thank you for this lovely jumper because it's nice and warm. And that also reminds me, Susie, you look gorgeous as a ladybird. Oh, you look so beautiful, Susie. And mum, I liked your t-shirt too. Now, I've got something to tell you. Something that's been happening here on the farm with Joy Joy and Ted. We were inside, we were sitting inside and we heard this great big crash. It was huge, this crash. And we went out and we wondered what had happened. And we went down into the paddock and there we saw it. A great big gum tree had crashed down into the ground. And I went down and I had so much fun in this gum tree. I sat in the roots and then I climbed up onto the gum tree and I crawled along it and I sat in the branches. And while I was sitting in the branches, I looked down and I saw some wombat poo. So the wombat must have liked the tree as well. And I stayed there and I stayed there for ages and then I had a sleep. And when we were coming back, Ted said to Joy Joy, Joy, there's a story in that for the kids. Didn't he, Joy? Joy? He did, Joey. He said there's a story there for the kids. And I'm going to tell them the story now. And it's a story that Jesus told and it's in Matthew 20, Matthew 7 24 to 27 and you can also find it in Luke and it's called the story of the two builders and there were two builders and they built their houses and one built his on the sand and the other put his on the rock and they put a garden around it and they were so pleased with their houses. They were very happy. And the, they went inside, shut the door and a little while later, a great big storm came. And the rain came down and the thunder came and the, it was big crash. And then an awful thing happened. The house that was built on the sand, all the sand washed away and the house went crash. But the one that was built on the rock, it stood firm. Joy, joy, that must have been terrible for the person who was in the house that went crash. It was, Joey, but there's a message in this that Jesus wanted to tell. And this was the message. He said to us to build our house on the rock. And he said that he was the rock. And he said to build our house on the rock 
and the word of God. And if we do that, we will have strong foundations. Not like the person who just put his house on the sand, didn't worry about the foundations. And when the storm came, it just went crash. But the one who put it on the rock, he built strong foundations. And that's what Jesus said. Build your life on strong foundations. So that when the storm comes and the winds come and the rain comes, you will be able to stand firm. And he said, I am the rock. Build your life on me and the word of God. And then you won't be like that gum tree that didn't have good roots. You will be like the willow tree that's by the river and it sends down great long roots. And when the storms come and the rains come, it stands firm. And that's why he told this story, that he wants us to have strong foundations. Wow, Joy Joy, I love that story. I want to have strong foundations. Joey, that's what I pray for all of you, that you will build your lives on the rock that's Jesus and on the word of God. So that when things happen in our life, and look what's happening at the moment. We're being tested. We all have to stay at home. And it's not much fun missing out on all our friends. But God is with us. And Jesus is with us. And we need to stand firm and say, all is well. All is well. So kids, I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope you'll go and read it in Matthew 7, verses 24 to 27. And you'll also find it in Luke. And when we're back at Sunday school, I'll teach you a song about the wise man who built, who built his house on the rock and the foolish one who built his house on the sand. So bye for now. And Joey sends you a big kiss. And so do I. Bye, kids. <laughs>